Okay, as you can see, the mist and the smoke has cleared up. And you can see a big chunk of the wall of the volcano has collapsed as if. This is very strange. It was not that clear before. Yeah, a big chunk of the wall has collapsed. And you can see sometimes the boiling of the magma and lava, formation of lava inside. That's the part that the lava was flowing also. Yeah, you see, I can see sometimes a little bit red glow in the corner to the left. So there is some lava, but uh, it doesn't flow uh, over the rim. The behavior of the volcano definitely has changed. It's not behaving differently to what it was, what we used to see in the past uh, two months. Yeah, some eruption you can see. It doesn't uh, erupt in a seven to 12 minute uh, cycle anymore. Or at least the uh, the manifestation of it uh, from the outside does not follow that pattern. Very interesting. And this is the lower valley. And you don't see any, any hot glowing uh, stream of lava I can see some smoke coming out some steam and vapor and gases but uh, nothing more than that yeah. other than those uh, diehard uh, visitors and the extreme left side of the image I don't see any more people around of course, it's early morning, and we know that uh, some tourists have booked their ticket to fly to Iceland. So hopefully they will not be disappointed. There will be something to watch. So far, it seems that we have a quiet day in the volcano in Iceland. Landscape looks like a, a burnt forest after the end of the fire probably <laughs> because of a rain. Of course, this is lava. You can see inside the crater, the lava pond is actually active, boiling, uh, but it, it is not enough. There is not enough pressure or material just to push it over uh, the rim of the crater. And you can see the earlier, uh, Craters where the area fissures that the uh, eruption was happening from there when it just started. And when we look in the time lapse, we can see actually some activity, but that's just mostly out guessing. And no major eruption. Oh, there is one here. That's good. And if 
if you look from above, that looks like that. The lava disappears into underground conduits, which we call lava tubes, of course. They're so huge that they can take over anything. With extreme zoom, you can see that what's going on. The lava is going through the lava tubes. 